Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. Uh, in tonight's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Fall Winter 2021 Undercover by June Takahashi, Marcus Akesson, The Mask, Girl with a Veil, French coat that I picked up from A+. Well, guys, <laughs> I would have liked to unbox that piece on the channel and showcased it to you, but, um, well, I unboxed it last night at 11 p.m. on a Friday. Uh, I was pretty exhausted, uh, and now I've awoken on the Saturday to find out that the footage of me unboxing it has corrupted, which is just sick <laughs> um so i've still got the footage of me showcasing the piece uh you know doing the outro and everything like that so um i'm definitely going to reuse that footage for this video and um just continue on from there but um yeah i will fill you in with just another segment on you know uh how long i've been uh looking for this piece how i found it what size i got uh the boutique that i bought it from all that info as well but yeah i just thought that I'd, I'd advise unfortunately the key part of the unboxing video got corrupted but i mean that doesn't mean we quit that doesn't mean we stop there i'm still going to do the video because there's still lots of things to talk about this piece and i still obviously want to showcase it to you on body everything like that so uh yeah just thought i'd fill you in so if this video feels a little bit disjointed unfortunately that's why so yeah as mentioned guys uh the footage corrupted so i'll just try and like recap what we what i went through last night um <laughs> at like 11 p.m <laughs> um yeah okay so the piece that i unboxed i obviously unboxed the undercover fall winter 21 uh marcus akesson the mask girl with veil trench coat uh it has a very long title but it's because there's a lot going on with that piece so quite obviously, it is the trench coat that released in Undercovers for Winter 21 season. It's in collaboration with Swedish oil painter Marcus Akesson. We've discussed uh, his work many times on the channel as I've unboxed various pieces from that for Winter 21 season that he has done. Now, uh, this trench coat in particular featured the Mask Girl with Veil oil painting. It is an oil painting of a woman holding her face with a scarf or veil wrapped around her head with some facial features popping through. Uh, it's an awesome oil painting. I really like the colors on it. Uh, and in the season, uh, the lookbook had a lot of models, especially the models wearing the pieces with that oil painting on it, posing in that same way. They had the huge polyester scarves in the season wrapped around their heads and their bodies and they were posing that way. It's very, very well done. Uh, it's a good way to, you know, tap into the artwork that they're using for the season. And uh, the model that wore the piece that I unboxed did exactly that, had the scarf and everything. It was very, very well done. Um, now, I have wanted this piece for over a year. Ever since it released in the season, I've been like, I want this in a size 5. There have been multiple opportunities for me to pick it up in a size 4, but I thought, look, the money I'm spending on this... It's going to stay in my collection. It's going to be in my collection for ideally forever. I want to buy my size. I want to buy the size that I am, you know, like I don't want to make a compromise here. So I held out for the size five. So yeah, lots of opportunities for a four came up and when opportunities for a size five did come up, they were at ridiculous prices. They were like people asking 150% of the retail price or even higher. It was just ridiculous prices being asked for. And I was like, no way, bro. <laughs> so I was literally holding out for it to prop up in like secondhand uh, Japanese online stores. Cause I was like, I want this to come up and I want it at a good price. Like I don't want this ridiculous price people are asking for. Uh, but unfortunately, the size fives were just not popping up and it, it is understandably a rare a rare size i guess they just don't make a lot of them and um really holding out for it but in previous videos in previous unboxing videos of undercover pieces 
I always ask if you guys see a size 5 of an undercover piece or a 2XL of an undercover piece, send it my way. Send it my way. I bookmark them. I keep them in a big old folder on Google Chrome. I've got them covered. And one of you guys did exactly that. You came in with the clutch and they deserve the biggest shout out. Uh, Alex Austin, who goes by the handle My Dad is a Hipster on Instagram, came through and sent me a link. Uh, they messaged me and advised that they recently had bought a large from A+. Now, uh, the reason why I'm quoting large is because when they bought this large, you know, fall winter 21 trench coat, they received a size four from A+, which was a little confusing because as we know with Japanese brands, a three is a large, a four is an extra large, a five is a two XL and so on and so on. Some brands deviate from that, but that's the general sizing uh, convention that they go with. Now, yeah, he messaged me advising, I bought this size four, came, uh, I was titled as a large, it seems legit and they have an extra large available. I thought I'd send this to you because you've been interested in the size five and I've been following your content for a while advising that you're on the hunt for it. And yeah, I was super stoked. It was amazing that Alex did that. I don't think I ever would have been able to find this listing without him, but yeah, he was right. I was a little bit conflicted. I was like, mm, it says extra large. That doesn't mean it's going to be a size five, although he did buy a large and he got a four, which is an extra large. So maybe this extra large is a size five. So I sent them an email because they didn't have it anywhere listed on their website that this extra large would be a five, um, which would definitely be helpful next time. A plus, you know, if you could let us know what the sizes correlate with in your description section, it'd be really handy. <laughs> Just from a consumer standpoint, because it makes it a little bit more difficult to buy from you. But yeah, um, I messaged them. I was just too keen though. I was like, oh, the price that it's listed at, that's a really good price even for a size four. And if I do pick it up and get a size four, it's not the end of the world because the price that I paid for it was a very good price. Do I just do it? Do I just do it? Do I go with my gut and just do it? Um, yeah, I went with what Alex was saying and I went with my gut and I was like, this extra large has to be a five. And uh, as soon as I bought it, like literally an hour or two later, they messaged me back within 24 hours and they're like, yeah, man, of course the extra large is a size five. So secured. <laughs> we managed to get the size five. I don't know why I was sweating over it, but you know, like I've been wanting this thing for so long. I wanted to make sure that it was the size that I've been wanting. Um, so yeah, picked it up on a Monday. They shipped it off Monday their time and it arrived on the Friday and I, I was rooted after working five days a week on the Friday. I was just dead. So yeah, trying to unbox it. It wasn't the, the most enthusiastic unboxing, but I mean, I guess we'll never know because the footage is lost, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really grateful. I unboxed it and because I bought it at retail, I obviously got some little goodies with it. So I got a branded coat hanger. Um, I got uh, a little little black bag with, uh, you know, a material tester there because when you buy them at retail, you get a little piece of the material in a black bag. Not that it's anything significant though, because you know, it's like bits of polyester because <laughs> the piece is 100% polyester. Uh, obviously got a retail tag, as we can see here. It has UC2A4303 color dark brown size five uh the quality or the material is surface 100 polyester filling 100 polyester lining 100 polyester um so it's a 100 polyester piece so it's not going to keep you super warm because it doesn't have a really good filling but it'll keep you pretty warm in like the mid 10 celsius degrees maybe a little bit lower but if it was like sub zero like below zero I don't know if it's going to give you that warm. I'd be wearing a few layers under it if that was the case. <laughs> but it, like, when I was, I still have the footage of me showcasing it. When I was showcasing it at 11 p.m. on a Friday, I could have fallen asleep in it, man. It's like a polyester blanket. So comfy. <laughs> and you'll see that later in the showcasing footage that we have. Uh, I also got from A Plus a nice little, nice little letter. It's very wholesome, it's very nice, and I like their font design, I gotta say. But in this little, this little letter, 
Dear Daniel, enjoy your new jacket. Greetings from Hamburg, your A plus team. And it was, you know, it was, it's very wholesome. I love little stuff like this. When you get a little, little, um, a little card, that's what I was trying to say, a little card. It's always really nice. It makes it feel more personalized and less like just a singular transaction. So yeah, thank you A plus team. That was very nice of you to send that along with. Uh, definitely keep doing that. I'm definitely gonna hold on to A plus as a boutique. And probably shop from them again. They have some more Japanese brands that I'm interested in, like Comme de Garçon shirt and whatnot, uh, needles, and a couple others, and of course, undercover. Uh, so if they get the new undercover seasons in, I'll definitely keep tabs on what they get in because, yeah, I would love to pick up more from them as they're an awesome little boutique there. But yeah, that really gets you guys up to speed. Uh, it's what I unboxed, the pieces backstory, how I managed to get a size five, thanks to Alex Austin, big shout out again. Thank you to A+. That's really everything I really had to say. Uh, unfortunately, the original footage is now dead, gone, deleted, corrupted. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we, we have to do it in reverse, but hopefully the, the video doesn't feel too jaded. Uh, I also have the showcasing footage still available and the outro footage, so that's all okay. Uh, so I'll still use that, guys. Let's go, let's continue on from there. Let's check out how this piece looks on body. So here we are, guys. Um, welcome to my massive wardrobe. <laughs> As always, you know how it'll be. I, uh, look, I would love to open my own. Um, fashion archive in Australia. I don't even know if we have one of those, but I would love to do a Japanese one and love to have this stuff on display for people to, you know, view and design students to come see. Maybe that's my eventual outcome. Maybe that's eventually what I'm doing this all for. Maybe that's my calling. <laughs> Who knows, man? Cool idea though, cool idea. Here is the fantastic trench coat uh, in all its glory. Um, honestly, looking at the shoulder width, it might have been a good idea for me to hold out for a size five because it looks a lot smaller than I've actually seen measurements for. But we'll grab it and we'll put it on. Ooh. If the uh, coat hanger doesn't go too crazy there. But here we are, okay. The material, very lightweight. Polyester, not with any, um, not with any really bougie filling. It's just polyester all round. So it's not gonna keep you really warm in the freezing cold, like low Celsius days or even negative days, but on like a, a like below 10, mid teens, this would keep you very warm. Um, as you can see, it's a, it's not a super oversized fit. It's a pretty fitted fit. Um, I can feel my shoulders being right here, uh, under the arms specifically, it's very tight here. They should have done the, uh, underarm stitching a little bit lower down because it's very tight around here. Um, to give you an idea, I like a chest circumference of around uh, high 120s. Um, I like to have a shoulder width of around 50, an underarm of around, well, a width of around like, I mean, around 60 would be awesome, or maybe a little bit lower, maybe like 57 or something like that. But definitely a lot larger than the shoulders. So if the shoulders are 50, making this at least like a 54 to 56 would be nice. Um, but yeah, those are like some ideal measurements that I like. Obviously with trench coats, I like them a little bit larger because they're the type of measurements that I just gave you for like a sweater. With a trench coat, I want them a little bit bigger because I'm probably gonna be wearing a few layers under a trench coat. I will just fix the collar up if I can. Problem with it being fully polyester is that there's not a lot of structure to it. Um, okay, there we go. Can I button it up? I hope so. Yeah, so at a size five, it looks like I can button it up. So that doesn't seem to be an issue there. There we go. Um, not a lot of move, oh, yeah, you know, you, you can move around. There's some movement there. Um, the colors are really nice. Oh, man, I'm recording this at like 11 p.m. I could just fall asleep right now. On a Friday too, I could just go to bed. Like, this is comfy. <laughs> you got the, you know, you got the lined pockets with like a, like a felt lining or like a fleecy kind of lining. And then, oh, you just got all this polyester, man. 
I mean, I, I'm literally like a, uh, if a match comes near me, I'm what can be set ablaze quite quickly. <laughs> but like, oh, I'm so comfy. I could just go to bed right now like this, all snug, all rugged up. <laughs> it literally is like a huge polyester blanket. It's crazy. So there we go there. Uh, as mentioned, two pockets, one in here. Probably could fit a wallet, not a phone. Probably like what, yeah, I mean, what, what, what uh, no, I can't really, yeah, grab anything for an example, but it's not the biggest of pockets in the world, even though there is a lot of space there. Uh, and obviously, the grand detail I have to showcase to you is the back detailing. That huge, amazing oil painting on the back, the girl with the veil, it's, I mean, it's fantastic, is it not? This is the main reason I wanted it, it's just this fantastic art piece on the back of it. Oh, man, it is just so cozy. I'm just, you know, oh, I, okay, very, very comfy piece. It's not super heavy, but it keeps you warm. Uh, I love the color of it. It's definitely more of a dark green, even though I, I guess I had the impression it was going to be a very dark brown. Um, I think even, what, what is the, what do the tags say? The tags had it as I mean, the tags have it as dark brown. I'll try and dark brown, but it's honestly, it's more of like a mud mixed with like a green, like a swamp green, I suppose. That's probably more of how it looks. It is a very nice color though. It works very, very well with the artwork on the back. I, and I think that was the whole intent of the whole season is to have colors that work well with the artwork. And June did that very well that season. Um, yeah. Oh. Well guys, that's showcasing of it on body. Um, should I do it? I mean, where is it? It's hidden down here. Here it is. Let's see if we can pull it out. Uh, okay. You know what? You know what? Just as a bit of fun, let's throw it together. Let's see how it looks with the matching hoodie. You know what? I instantly regret this decision. <laughs> <laughs> These pieces are definitely made to be worn apart, but I thought I was, might as well do it. You know, I did it with the with the workers jacket and the hoodie. I thought I might as well just you know just just for the sake of it, just to do it. So there we go. The mask girl with the veil hoodie with matching trench coat. It's um it's not a look. It's very excessive. I'd rather just a single colored layer underneath because the jacket is the statement piece. But we gotta do it for the video, I suppose. Gotta mess around. <laughs> oh, I just can't get over the feel of this jacket, man. I love the feel of it. Um, I don't actually own any polyester jackets, so this is my purse. And yeah, it's just a really nice, like lightweight jacket, but also keeps you very warm. Again, it's like 11 p.m. on a Friday. Oh, just gonna just gonna clock off now, guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the jacket itself. Do you like it? Do you like the artwork on the back? Everything like that. I would love to hear everything you have to say about it down in that comment section below. Well, guys, that's a completely unboxed. Sorry if I wasn't um, as alive as I should be. It's just too late on a Friday when I was ready to go to bed at 5 p.m. <laughs> but yeah, I did eventually want to do the video and I was going to save it for a Saturday, but I was like, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll get it done. I'll get it done. But yeah, ah, oh, I've now got the Child's Play hoodie, got the Mask Girl with the Veil hoodie. I've now got the Moths crew neck. I've now got the Girl with the Veil trench coat. I've got the Child's Play work jacket. Um, I need the Marcus Akesson knits left. I don't have the puffer jacket. I don't have the Moth's fishtail parka, which I do really want. Um, probably some others. I actually even wouldn't mind the scarves, the polyester scarves that released in the season, just to wear them with the jackets and stuff. Oh, it would be such a look. Yeah. Oh, there's also a vest, but I'm, yeah, the vest is not really doing it for me, but if it's like in a size five, I'd like, 
buy it to complete the collection, but again, I wouldn't want to pay a lot for it. <laughs> but yeah, wow, the Marcus Akesson Undercover Collection is coming along strong. As I said, I should probably just open up an archive store. Not that I have like very significant pieces from seasons long ago, but I do have some stuff that it would be cool to showcase and um, have people come in and have a look at. Yeah, anyway. Thank you, thank you for watching guys. Uh, thank you to A+, I will definitely be shopping from you guys in the future. I'll be looking out for you guys for future undercover seasons and other Japanese brands as well. Uh, thank you to Alex Austin for sending me the link. I would have, again, never been able to find A+, without you guys forwarding it to me. So thank you. Um, it's, yeah. Fantastic to see that I finally have it now. <laughs> and very glad I went with the size 5 because that shoulder width and the underarm was, yeah, a lot smaller than I thought it would, uh, thought it would be. So, awesome. But, yeah, fantastic, guys. Um, I'd love to hear any thoughts you have to say about the undercover Marcus Akesson collection so far, um, the trench coat in general. Let me know your thoughts down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep picking up undercover pieces and keep collecting these Marcus pieces, giving me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator of them all, subscribe to the channel. Now, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone, 3,425 subscribers before the end of the month. Uh, hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3425 and update this little subscriber milestone here before the end of November. But that's everything i got to say about the trench coat, guys. Uh, I'll see how much wear I can get out of it moving forward as I am moving into spring and then summer. It is quite lightweight, though, so I feel like I could get away with it sometimes. But yeah, we'll have to see how we go with that one, guys. But hopefully I can wear it. Uh, a lot. If not, I might have to put it away for next year. But uh, yeah, until the next unboxing video, until the next undercover video, until the next uh, streetwear talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.